Okay, so this is exam two, day two. We're going to look at muscles um, of the upper leg. And so starting on the medial side, um, inferior side, we're going to go ahead and we see first the sartorius and we see the gracilis. So one of the landmarks is this these blood vessels right here. So what you want to do is just kind of lift these. There's going to be a little bit of fat to help you along. Cut through the belly of that muscle so you can pull back your sartorius. And pull back sartorius. And then from there you can see a handful of other muscles. So first, right along the midline here, is the vastus medialis, followed by this muscle, which is the rectus femoris. And then there's a couple layered muscles here. The most superficial is attached to a bunch of fascia. It's called the tensor fascia lati. And then below that is the vastus lateralis, which is a pretty good sized muscle, runs the whole way along the lateral surface. Now, coming down a little bit deeper, if you follow those veins down, this is all sartorius. But right here coming out is a little fused muscle. So this is the iliopsoas. In humans, um, there's two separate muscles, the iliacus and the psoas major. Um, but in mink and in cat, it's fused as the iliopsoas. Now if we move across to the other side of the veins, we're looking at this big, large, flat muscle. So we have the sartorius at the top, we have gracilis at the bottom. So cut through that gracilis, like that, and we have a handful of smaller muscles. Right along the vessels here, kind of lift them up, you have right there the pectineus, and then from the pectineus you have the adductor longus, the adductor magnus, sometimes called the adductor femoris, and then you have semimembranosus, semitendinosus. So that's it for the medial side. So again, we had gracilis, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, adductor femoris, in humans is called magnus, adductor longus, pectineus. On the other side of the vasculature you have your iliopsoas, um, rectus femoris, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, that's sartorius that covers all of it, and right there is the tensor fascia lati. Now we're going to work around to the other side, and again we're still looking at that sartorius. There's sartorius here. Here's that tensor fascia lati. And then we have gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, and this little muscle right here, that's the caudofemoralis. So gluteus maximus, medius, caudofemoralis. This huge muscle right here is the biceps femoris. Again, tensor fascia lati, and that's all vastus lateralis. So once you get those identified, you cut through that biceps femoris. And running along the medial side is this little mink-only muscle called the tenuissimus. And looking deep, you have the tenuissimus holding open the biceps femoris. That's the sciatic nerve. That's semitendinosus, semimembranosus. And if you kind of pull things to the side, we're looking at the membranosus here. This is adductor femoris once again. So it's adductor femoris, semimembranosus, semitendinosus, tenuissimus, biceps femoris, caudofemoralis, gluteus medius, gluteus maximus, tensor fascia lati, vastus lateralis, sartorius. rectus femoris, vastus medialis, iliopsoas, pectineus, adductor longus, adductor femoris, semimembranosus, semitendinosus, and finally gracilis. That's it.